Hey guys, it's Nem, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. So today, we're gonna to be testing and reviewing the brand new MAC Tempting Fate for Collection for 2021. You guys know, I mean, I'm sure you guys have been waiting for me to review this. If you are new to my channel, I review MAC limited edition collections all the time. So yeah, anytime there is a new MAC collection, I'll be reviewing it. So definitely subscribe if you are a Mac lover. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I will have links down below to everything as well. And without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Let's jump straight into the brand new Mac Tempting Fate for collection. So I did pick up a few things from the collection. They didn't have much yet again in this collection. So I picked up these items right here, which I cannot wait to show you guys and dig into. So the first thing that I did pick up, which we're gonna be playing with, is the Tempting Fate Feast Your Eyes eyeshadow palette. The packaging is absolutely stunning on all of these products. As you guys saw in the intro, it is kind of like, almost like artwork. The packaging itself is kind of like a canvas material. And then we have three lipsticks that I picked up which I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. And then I also picked up a strobe face glaze as well, one out of the three, although I do have swatches of all three as well because I did go into store. Let's go into the new Tempting Fate eyeshadow palette. When you see the colors, it just blew me away. So this is what it looks like. It comes with eight eyeshadows. Most of it are just mixtures of shimmers and metallics. And then you have almost like two mattes, although they have a little bit of a shimmer in there as well. There's a little close up. This palette does come with just a mixture of light shades, purples, a nice olive green, a copper, and then, you know, the purples. So first shade I am gonna go into is this one right here, which is more of a matte. This shade is called Yesterday's Gossip, and I'm just putting this right in the crease. It's like a nice light pale pink shade. So right off the bat, this definitely does have a matte finish even though it looks a little bit like it has a sheen in the palette it's definitely a nice matte which is great because i do feel like we needed some mattes in the palette and i will be doing full swatches of the astro palette after the look so you guys can see a more close-up of swatches of how they actually look as well and on my arm one is called feast your eyes which is the name of the astro palette and it is like a beautiful sparkly just again pinky beige first thing i'm gonna do is just pack this with my finger oh my gosh all over the lid and it just gives a little bit of a sheen almost like a little eyeshadow topper moment it's not fully pigmented it's more of a just a sparkly topper if that makes sense this just on its own as well would be really pretty and then we're gonna go into the purple right here. So this is more of like a violet grape purple. And this one is called Brocade Renegade. This is almost like a satin finish, so it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, even though it is more matte than the other ones. Just packing this on my outer V. This is a beautiful purple shade. This whole palette just screams autumn to me. I'm gonna leave it at that. I will fix that afterwards. Just gonna pack it onto this side as well. Let me know if you guys are thinking of picking up this palette or just anything from this collection. I would love to know your thoughts on what you think about, you know, everything from the products to the packaging. Next, I'm taking this shade right here, which is more of like a shimmery violet right there. Just going to, oh wow, pack this on the lid between the lighter shade and the purple. This is definitely, definitely more foiled than the first shade that we used. This one was more of a sparkly shade, this one's more foiled. Next I'm going into Golden Rage, which is kind of like a, just a chocolate deep brown. This is going right on the outer, outer, outer corner. Now taking Velvet Vamp, this one's also a sparkly shade, but more of a golden pale gold. And this one is just gonna go in my inner corner and brow bone. That is intense and I absolutely love it. It is a super, super foiled glittery gold. This is the most perfect inner corner or just highlight shade in general. You can even bring a little bit onto the lid just to give it a little bit more of a pop. This one is called All That Jam. I'm just applying this copper shade on the lower lash line. It's a super, super, again, metallic like copper rusty shade, which is absolutely beautiful. And I feel like it just does something to the eyes. It adds a little bit of warmth and, you know, rustiness to the look. Now we're gonna move on into the eyeshadow palette swatches. I'm gonna be swatching the first row for you.
And now let's move on into the second row. Now moving on into the strobe face glaze. So again, I picked up one out of the three. I will go ahead and insert the strobe face glaze swatches right now. I just watched them in store. So as you guys are watching these swatches, I will talk about uh, the strobe face glaze and what it is basically. So it's a gel hybrid liquid highlighter illuminator, but it's a very unique product and it's definitely one of my favorites because I did have it from the old summer collection from last year and it is such a game changer. It is a very dewy highlighter product which you can use underneath foundation alone mixed in with foundation on top of foundation and it's basically like a dewy highlight without too much shimmer so it's more of like a gloss without the stickiness and without the shimmer so i did go ahead and actually pick up the one in punk in spice so this one is more of the orangey one that i went ahead and picked there was a violet as you guys saw and then like a really deeper brown the deeper brown would look amazing on medium to deeper skin tones um i did swatch it on myself and it just looked a little muddy on my skin tone so i went ahead and picked up the more orange toned one which i think would be great for bronzing as well we will go ahead and see how it is on the skin packaging is absolutely beautiful yet again so yes this is the strobe face glaze i will just grab the old one that i had from the summer collection this is the one from the summer collection which i had and i've raved about this so much on my channel so i'm glad that they brought it back let's go ahead and swatch this one punk in spice is described as a pumpkin with gold pearl just going to put a dollop on the back of my hand beautiful beautiful orange glow bronze shade it just melts into the skin it doesn't give a lot of color which is why i absolutely love these it just gives you a very 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 sheer tint of color like absolutely sheer tint of color which is great because it's so universal absolutely beautiful dewy finish without the stickiness there's absolutely no stickiness and barely any shimmer and glitter in it like a traditional liquid highlighter has usually they have like a lot of glitter whereas these ones are almost just like a melt in the skin dewy product with just that hint of tint so you can see it just goes on like a pumpkin orangey shade i will put the brightness down a little bit so you guys can see Look at that beautiful beautiful dewy dewy glow again like it's an orangey tone but it doesn't look like that on the skin it just almost melts into just like a very very i don't even know how to describe it it's honestly something else this product i've raved about it before but this shade this new shade that they came out with is is something else matte side dewy glossy side so if you are a fan of dewy products you absolutely love this just apply it here this would be beautiful uh, maybe mixed in with like a liquid bronzer or on top of a cream bronzer as well but as you can see i'm using it i'm very fair and i'm using it as a highlight and it's not looking orangey whatsoever just beautifully melts into the skin it just shears out leaves you with a beautiful glass skin Finish. I don't have any words this shade in particular I think would be the most flattering and the most universal for every skin tone because it is just a warm glow it's just one of those shades where it's just going to melt into the skin and barely give any color it's just going to give you a juice so that is the punk in spice shade I think I might go back and get the other shades now we'll see but this is what it looks like let me know what you guys think super glowy super dewy and yeah you can see the difference instantly so now we're going to move on into lips for lips i do have three shades three lipstick shades out of these six so i did pick up all of the more nudie tones the other three shades were two fuchsia shades and then like a deep red burgundy but 
Mac always comes out with those. Um, if you want something similar to those, you have Mac Diva, Mac D for Danger, Mac Rebel. I wanted to go for these and also I feel like you guys are going to absolutely love these. Um, probably why you're watching this video because the lipsticks are the star of the show in this collection. So let's start off with the lightest shade in the collection and this is called Burnished Beige. Again, packaging is absolutely beautiful with the fruits on the uh, box and then also the actual packaging itself is a really nice deep eggplant purple with gold foiling and then the fruits on the bottom so these are just honestly little masterpieces to have in your collection even just to get one lipstick you don't have to get the entire collection just have one lipstick and this is burnished beige so burnished beige as you can see is a really 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 light nude shade with a little bit of a warm orangey tone to it so it does have you know that pumpkin tone in there and this one mac describes as a tan nude now in my description i'm gonna go ahead and say that this is more of like a orangey nude like a pumpkin nude because it does have a lot of orange in there and this one is a amplified cream finish so let's go ahead and apply this one an amplified cream finish is going to be more creamy i just have lip balm underneath wow i do not own anything like this in my collection this is a beautiful yellow toned nude pumpkin nude orangey beigey nude so this i feel like if you love those kinds of shades with a dark lip liner and then this in the center would be the perfect like yellow beige nude i really like it despite the eyes and it not matching this is a beautiful orange based nude let me know what you guys think of this one. Again, this one is called Burnished Beige and it is in the Amplified Cream formula. The next shade is called On A Petal Still. And this is a beautiful pink lipstick. I think if you are into pinks, you will absolutely love this one. And it's not so pink either, which is great. I think it's gonna be flattering for a lot of people. And this one MAC describes as a neutral pink and it is also an Amplified Cream formula as well. This is what On A Petal Still looks like swatched. The most perfect pink flattering shade again it's not like a barbie pink it's not too purpley it's not too cool toned it's just a warm toned pink which is so pretty so let's go ahead and apply this one and that one is on a petal still still wow so opaque so pigmented so creamy let me know what you guys think of this one I think this one is my absolute favorite out of all of them. Such a flattering pink. I think this is definitely gonna be my go-to from now on. And last but not least, we have Tarnished Reputation. And this one is described as a deep pumpkin on Mac's website. Again, as you can see, this is a true, like deep orange based pumpkin matte shade. I think this is gonna be, again, flattering on a lot of skin tones and still wearable, even though shades like this, you know, like the pumpkin, don't let it throw, throw you off. It just means warm toned. So yeah, let's go ahead and try this one. This one is a matte finish. This one is like the most autumn color in the collection. that literally matches like my headband this one is such a creamy matte this one's tarnished reputation the deep pumpkin again i'm fair so these are going to look a little brighter on me if you are a little bit darker than me you know it's going to look different on everyone so just keep that in mind and this is a swatch of tarnished reputation those are all three swatches of the lighter shades in the collection let me know which one you guys are going to be picking up out of the three that I swatched. So again, tarnish reputation in the matte finish. Leave me all your thoughts down below. Let me know which one you guys are going to be picking up from the collection. If you are even going to be picking anything up, what your favorite colors were, what your favorite products was. Leave me all your thoughts down below as well. And yeah, just let me know what you think about this full collection. I will say I absolutely loved every single thing. I feel like if you had to skip on something, you could skip on the eyeshadow palette, even though it's beautiful. But I just feel like the lipsticks are really the star of the show in this collection and the strobe face glazes. Like those products in the collection are just amazing so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it 
and I'm gonna let you guys go now so I hope you guys are all staying safe and until next time I'll speak to you guys all in my next video